smoke tail light, smoke filler lights, red tour pack lights. I think I need to change these out. All right, welcome to the channel. As you see, I have a smoke tail light, smoke filler lights on my 2021 Road, Road Glide Limited. I want to ch start changing out the rest of the lights because they're red on my tour pack. I got the bottom ones on my tour pack red and my other ones red. So I reached out to Eagle Lights and they sent me uh, new lights for the bottom. And uh, I'm going to unbox them and install them. Okay. Eagle Lights, part number TP02BS. Eagle Lights LED Tour Pack Light. These are the bottom lights on your Tour Pack. Okay? And right here it says, for instructions, please visit Eagle Lights. So the how-to, you can download PDF file for the instructions on how to do this. And let's just open this up. Comes with a wiring harness that you need to plug in that's on underneath the, the back part of the seat, the passenger seat, little wiring harness. Each light comes in its own, it's all wrapped up here. Uh, this will be the right side, yeah. Okay, that's all there is to it. Okay, the next thing we got to do is take off the seat. And everybody knows how to take off the seat. And I'll be back once the seat is off. Okay. Next, need to open up the tour pack. Got the tether here. We need to take that off so we can take out this inner, inner liner. And in order to do that, got to take out these two um, Torx screws. And I believe they are T20s. Now you got to remember, this is going to, if once you take, take these torques, these screws out, your tour pack lid could fall. So hold on to it. Now, if you watch, this tour pack can just swing, just keep swinging. I'm just going to take this out. Should come right out. And then I'm just going to put this right back on. Put the screws right back in to help with the holding this lid. Just put the screws back in to help hold the lid. Okay? And then we can just set the tour pack, uh, the tour pack liner off to the side. Okay. Now... You know what? Look at this. Look at this. I got to show you this. Look at this. Uh, I put a stubby antenna on here. I never had never had this liner out. I thought my reception was bad because of this stubby antenna. My antenna, my radio antenna is not, not even plugged in. What the hell is that? Never plugged in. Huh. That's messed up. All right. So anyway, the next thing we need to do, these are the screws right here. These are T15s, I think, that hold the lights on the bottom. But before we take that out, we should probably put some tape on there to hold them on to the torque pack because once you take those out, they'll fall. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so just take some paint, blue painter's tape and just stick it on there just so this these don't drop, drop down, okay? Now we'll get back up here and uh, we'll take out these two screws, these four screws. Uh, first thing is take off these ground wires, okay? Okay. T15, yep. And 
The next thing we got to do is see these four points right here? These are studs that go through to the bottom. So there's nuts on the bottom of your tour pack to take this plate off. Now you got to be careful. Once you take those nuts off, this whole tour pack can fall off. So I'm going to set this set this down. I'm going to take the nuts off the bottom, and then I'll show you what, what happens afterward. All right, you know what? I'll show you the bolt. There's one bolt right there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Nut. And then another nut here. And then there's two more behind that you got to take out. I'll take those out and I'll, I'll be back. Okay. There is a uh, 716 nut and washer. All right. Four of them to take off. Okay. All four nuts are taken off. Now you got to be careful because this is loose. This list can lift right off. So when you open this up, be real careful. Hold on to it. Now this plate should come right out. Okay. So I'm just going to set this right here. Like that. Grab another spare bolt. If you have a spare bolt, stick a, stick that in there. Put a knot on the bottom. It's a little hard doing this. One-handed. Yeah, just so just take a spare bolt and put it right back in the hole. And nut it down to help hold this on. There. Okay. Now it ain't gonna fall off. Then you can just take this right off. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is right here. See this this is the these are the plugs for the lights. Disconnect them. Okay. And let's see here. Uh, can you see right here? Another one right here. Okay. Okay. And you get some rubber grommets here. So you'll just have to peel your tape back that you have on there. And uh, there, push your grommet through there and it should come right off right here. Like, I don't know if you can see that. This little splice. Hmm. All right, let me see here. Let me bring the camera in. All right, so if you take this grommet out, there is a splice right in it right here that you can slip past the wires, hopefully. It's a little cold in there. I don't want to break this, so there we go. Okay. Let's see. Let me see if I can show this to you. Where are you? Right there. See? A little splice in it. So just set that aside. And then you could take your lights out. And push this right through the hole. There. And these are the stock lights. Now what you can do is feed your new light wires through here. You got one and two to go through. So here's the original plug. So these new lights are going to have signals. So that's what this other light is for, uh, wire is for. So what you want to do is position those all up, all up in there. And just uh, yeah, put your lights in place and uh, just tape it back up to where they need to go. Just like you did with the ones you took off. Just make sure they're lined up. Take this wire, spin it around, plug this one back in. This one just plugs right back in. Uh, okay, so I have the other light on and you know what I forgot to do here? I already plugged this in, I need to unplug this. 
I need to uh, put this back on, put this on. I need to put the sleeve back on. So I'll just slide it over this one wire. So slide this over this one here too. Just back in the hole, there we go. There, all right. Now I can put that under here. Plug that one back in. Okay. Same thing on this side. All right. Let that wire sit there and then I can plug this one right back in. Next thing, I don't know if you could see, but right here is the wiring harness. It goes through. There's a rubber grommet here. Here is the little wiring harness. I'm going to need to try to slide these two wires through that grommet. Okay, right here. Gonna have to try to slide through there. All right, I got a screwdriver through there, so hopefully I can slide these through now. Give me some room here, hopefully. Come on. This is not fun trying to get it through this rubber grommet. A little longer than a few minutes later. So I got the white and the brown wire shoved through there. The next thing we need to do is disconnect our wiring harness. And this is just going uh, series, right? Basically, right? Is that what it is? So I already have some more lights already plugged in here. So we're just going to connect, disconnect this one here. I'm hoping. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Oh, that's a lot. Hmm. All right, let me pull these wires through here. All right, do a little bit of wire management cleanup. A few moments later. Okay, I'm done with a little bit of uh, wire management. I think this is how it's going to go. I got everything in here. Got the plug in. I rerouted my main plug here, so everything's all right here. And zip tied it right here. Okay, now let's just take this off. And hopefully this folds down good enough for everything else. All right. So now you have a white or a gray and a brown wire. Of course, the instructions do not tell you which one's which. So we will just have to test out. Just going to plug them in and see if they're correct or not. Okay. They are not correct. So... The brown wire goes to the right. The gray wire goes to the left. So you just plug them in. They're like little push things. Just push them in. And then slide the little rubber gasket, uh, the little rubber thing over. Okay? Let's do some wire management. Zip ties and tape. There. Good enough, right? I think that's good enough. So the next thing to do is to take out your bolt here that you... Temporary held it in. Set your plate back in and loosely put the nuts on. And then we'll come back and put these screws in. You got to be careful to try to line all of these up because you can't put these screws in until you put the plate in. So I'll set the plate in with this and loosely in there with the nuts and we'll go from there. Okay, I got the plate in. And I have uh, the nuts on and I just have them snugged up a little bit. Now the next thing to do is to put your screws in and hopefully they line up. And don't over tighten. I can barely see them here, so got my screws right here. They are a little bit tight here, so okay. I'm a little worried, but they go in real hard. These do scare me a little bit. They're going easy and then until you get to a certain point and then you think you're gonna snap them. All right, they're all in. All right, so the next thing, I'm gonna tighten down all the nuts really good. Tighten all the nuts on the plate. All right, the next thing you gotta do is hook your grounds back up. Both your grounds, one, two. 
And then now the next step is to take your uh, screws out of your tether holder here again, so you can put your liner back in. Got your liner. Set it back in there. Just hand tighten these. All right. Boom. Back together. Okay. Next step is just put the seat back on. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but they're all blacked out down here now. Try the other side. Okay. Black. Smoked out. And then, you know, of course, I still got that. That's the next thing I gotta change. But smoked out. The uh, next thing you need to do is turn your uh, bike on, on ignition, hit your fla flashers, and let them run for 10 minutes to sync the system. And then shut it off, and we'll go from there. All right, since the sync is done, now let's uh, turn the lights off and check out the lights. Running light. Brake light. Signal, right signal. Left signal. All right, what do you think? Eagle lights, tour pack, the bottom tour pack lights. Smoked with integrated turn signals. I'm not too sure on the brake light to be being orange instead of red. I don't know how I feel about that. That's my only issue with these lights. But if this is something that you're interested in, link will be in the description below. Use the link, you'll get 15% off your entire order. So leave a comment below, what do you think? Like I said, I'm not too sure on the brake light being orange, yellow, whatever. It does match the brake light and the filler lights I have. Just not too sure about it. I wish it would just be, just stay red, didn't do anything, or brighter red. That's my only gripe about these lights, but anyway. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate Eagle Lights for sending these out to me and uh, trying them out. Like I said, link in the description below. 50% off your entire order. And they, they, they ship real fast. I had these, these things in two days. And uh, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber and hit, and hit the bell so you're notified when new videos come out. Thumbs up. Okay? And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.